Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube. Today we're talking about how to get super high quality 3D inside of Fusion. Now, I'm gonna confess this is slightly clickbaity <laughs> because the truth is you can't really get super high quality 3D inside of Fusion. You can get stuff looking pretty nice, but nothing to the point of like VFX or, you know, really high quality renders. Everything kind of looks still a little bit like a video game asset, right? And even though this looks nice, it's not like anywhere near photo real or anything like that. But the good news is we're gonna talk about a little workaround that I've been using that I think is really good. I'll take it from this to this, which is a big difference. So here's before, here's after. First of all, on the Fusion side of things, if you want to bring a mesh inside of Fusion from something like Blender, you'd have to export it from Blender as an FBX. And you can bring that into Fusion with the FBX Mesh 3D node. To do that, all you do is do your shift spacebar thing and type FBX, and we want this FBX Mesh 3D. When you do that, it comes in as just a bright white mesh, which you then have to add to a Merge 3D with some lighting and put that into our renderer 3D and make sure that we click on lighting and shadows. After that's a thing, you'll notice there's no color information, no textures or anything like that. And so you kind of have to rebuild the material inside of Fusion. Good way to do that is with a Cook Torrance shader. Again, just shift spacebar and search for that. Then we can bring in all of our textures and plug them into whatever's available for our shader and take the output of the shader and put it into the FBX mesh. So now we have this kind of looking thing. There's probably a few other things that you can do to make this a little better. And one of the big things that does help is if you can connect your normal map, this is without the normal map, and this is with it, makes a huge difference. But it still kind of just looks plasticky, looks a little bit fake, right? So here I have this set up in a different scene. We have our green chair and that's set up with our textures and everything a little bit of a different way. And we do actually get quite a bit more quality here. It does look a lot better. It does look nice and glossy. You can see some of the detail here, but even then you really can't get the kind of soft lighting and the indirect lighting and everything that you're able to with Blender. And that just really makes a huge difference if you want something to look real or not. Again, this kind of looks like a really nice game asset, but it doesn't really have that realistic look that you get from Blender. But this is about the quality that you're gonna get inside of Fusion, at least in this version of Resolve. And playing around with lighting, you can get something that looks pretty nice. And for something, you know, maybe like this, that's kind of a almost like video game asset, pop-up information kind of thing, it works. But if you want something that looks a little bit nicer, say like this, you're really gonna have to use a different app and bring in a render. So this one was made in Blender. And here comes the workaround. Generally, the reason why you'd want to have a 3D asset inside of Fusion is so that you have control over the lighting and everything. You don't have to wait for a big long render and you can kind of move this around and edit it however you please. Well, I, I feel like at least for most of the things that I do, I don't really need to move it around all that much. I kind of need to just figure out the basic animation and then I don't really touch it after that. So what I've been doing is going into Blender and making my animation there and then rendering this out and bringing it into Fusion. Now you might say, oh, well, that completely defeats the purpose. Like, I don't wanna wait for this huge long render. Well, the cool thing is that Blender, if you go to the render properties, under render engine, there are a couple different options here. And the top one is called Eevee. Eevee is a very fast renderer for Blender and you can get some really high quality results and it doesn't take very long to render at all. So once you have everything set, you can set your output and then go up to render animation and look at how quickly this renders. I can do this entire animation as I'm just talking with you. This is a, this is a 90 frame animation and this is how fast it really renders in real time, at least on my system. And that's with motion blur and all kinds of crazy stuff. And so if you're looking for a really quick way to render some high quality stuff, Eevee is not a bad choice inside of Blender. And now we have this really high quality 3D render that still didn't really take very much time. Pretty cool trick, right? I think, I think so. And you know what? 
If you stayed to the end, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And hey, I hope that the rest of your day is a lot like this very old chair. I hope that you have arms, you aren't in a fire or something, and you're totally not haunted. <laughs> I mean, I think that's... That's, that's what we all hope for. <laughs>